Hello everyone, my name is Kerem Hushusha. I am senior lighting artist at Ubisoft and today I'm gonna show you how you can get easily lighting mode like in Red Dead uh, games. I know there is many people love this game, even me, the environment and the mood, it's, it's great so far, but the most important thing in this game that make the game it looks uh, very cool it's about the lighting the light it comes from the sky and the sun so many people i know they they think about how we can achieve the same mood in unreal engine uh, i know it's quite hard but believe me after you watch this video you will be able to make any mood like in this game so i would like to start with this kind of mood i love this uh, the, the orange and red this the warm feeling so i have this scene i built this scene before so let's start i'm gonna use the default uh, lighting system in Unreal Engine, like the the, the 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 sky system. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna first move the the sun to make it front of the of the camera. So, Alt, uh, Control, and L, and then start to move like this. Okay. So I will keep the sun in this position. As you can see here, it looks okay, but it's too bright. So how we can match this to this, okay? So the first thing, there is nice tab here. I don't know if you ever know or not, but source angle that can you can control of the size of the sun. So the 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 sun shape you can control of the size from here. But let's start first to try to uh, make the exposure a little bit down. I will not use any post processing for now. I'm gonna just go to the sky atmosphere. Okay. So as you can see here, you see this option. Okay, I'm gonna change the scattering scale to have something like this. Now we start to feel the orange color and we start to see the sun. Okay, so if I move the, the sun a little bit here, I think I can just move it to this position okay and i will start to move the scattering now we start to see the uh, sun radius so if we go back here if you change the source angle to one now the source of the sun it's too small if you change it to 10 you can get get bigger like here okay so that's very easily right so now if you start to move to change the color you will be able to change the mood but i will not change anything here i just need to focus on the sky sphere okay so now we change this option scattering scale and now it's time to change the color okay so basically if we if we keep the color blue you will get the orange but if you make absorbing like to go to the orange you will get blue effect okay but in this case i am gonna move the slider to bring it more here you see now we start to get this orange red okay i think that looks nice and now if you change the scale you will get different mood okay so from here i mean absorbing a scale so if we change this we can get the mood like the the the, the sunset or the sunrise effect okay but i will keep it like this for now uh, scandrick there is nothing actually we can do it here so i will keep it like this okay so now we have this mode it's close to this one right so the the last option here if we change the oh not that one yeah the scalar okay aerial perspective view distance scale you can get more fog 
or less fog okay um, the, yeah the, the fog distance okay so I can get more fog like this okay now if you go back to the post processing we can change the exposure Oh, we have already auto exposure. Now I will change the mid gray to make it more darker. Now we have the similar mode like this one, right? You see, it's very close to this one. If you move around, we have a very nice sky mode. Now, if you go back to the volumetric cloud, you can start to change the mode of your volumetric uh, or of your clouds you can get this cloud like this okay or you can even change the the setting we can change the setting from the material edit okay but i will keep it like this for now okay so now how we can move with different kind of uh, of mood so let's say I'm gonna try to make the mood it's like the, the the sunrise okay so which is mean that the Sun is gonna be disappear so in this case I can change the direction okay and oh, let's make this four okay and we'll go back here and start to to go with something like this you see okay here boom we have this mode okay so if we go back to the um, uh, exponential fog because I changed the color so I will keep the color here you can easily change the fog color to match the same color uh, yeah we can keep it like this okay and let's go back here and change the scattering scale to have more foggy you see boom we have this ice mode now if we change a little bit but we have to tweak the setting to get the night mode okay also you can now we can have more effects or different mood you see if you start to change your sun direction you will be able to switch between different effects with, this is a very very simple effect right so so all you need to do just try to play with this setting until you reach your mood oh, I don't want this one yes something like this and I don't know we'll keep it this one yes you see now we have this different mood and if we go back here we can change the mood to match the sky so that's it that's it <laughs> so you can easily play with this mood and you will reach the same mood like the the, the red dead uh, the bloom effect also can make difference so if we switch to here to get this nice bloom effect or even you can turn on the uh, the lens lens flare we can find it here lens flare so but be careful try to know where exactly can 
lens flare be visible okay so let's go back here um, Boom, you see, it's very simple. It's very, very simple to get this mode. We have this mode for now. If we move the sun direction to anywhere, you see we have this nice sun. So that's it, that's it, that's all you need to do. So it's, as I said, it's not that hard. So you can simply get this mode by just move your uh, slide slider for the, for the sun direction and start to play with this setting. Now we have to turn off the plume because now it's too much. And also the lens flare. So, if we go back to the natural mode, you have this the natural mode, and here also this kind of mode, it's matching to to the game. So is it's 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 very simple, right? I think also if we move here, you see, boom, something like this. I really love this mode. It's very natural. So all I did just change the absorbing scale to get this mode. So now we are using the real sky system. You don't need to use any HDR light. You don't need to use any external uh, plugin for for the mode. You can get easily nice mode with just simple uh, options. You can even hide the, the sun direction or you can make it like this. So you see. Uh, and one more thing, uh, whenever you have the, the items here, like the character, you see, we have this very nice rim effect, rim light effect. So you can simply bring spotlight. Okay. And just we're gonna add more light here. Okay, and now we're gonna try to match the same light. So you see it's before and after here it's too much, I feel it's too much. So let's start to change distance and make it more soft. We're gonna make the shadow more soft. Okay. We can even take another one and just put it here. Okay, and you can uh, choose the channel. So let's say I'm gonna make the channel two, and this character had channel two. So now this light will not uh, affect everywhere. So it will just uh, affect this character. So now I can simply move anywhere to match this mood. Okay, so. You see, it's very really easy, right? So now we have this mood. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, please don't forget to share this video and leave your comment if this is useful. And see you next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.